Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Love. So as you can as you guys can see from the title, this video will actually be very important for anyone who's looking to travel to Canada and who will be doing the three day mandatory hotel quarantine. So some of you guys have already heard about this update, but some of you might have not heard about this. So this video will actually cover cover all the major updates about the hotel restrictions about the three day mandatory quarantine that have recently come up. And I will be discussing all of them in this video. So as you guys can see on the screen right now, so recently uh, I received a screenshot of this and I actually checked it on the website myself. And this is the new update, the first new update that came on the website for the hotel quarantine restriction. So as you can see uh, in the past, initially uh, the people who were traveling in the same flight could be two different friends, two students were allowed to share the hotel room together as long as they were traveling in the same flight. But now, as you can see, this image shows that only people who are traveling from the same household are allowed to share and they recently updated it. I don't know why, and but they did and I received a lot of messages regarding this. So I decided to make a video about it to clarify what why this update came and what this update is and to whom it applies and what about for those people who already have an existing booking and if it's true or not and who will check it or not. So in this video, I will clarify all of that. And since I wanted to give you guys the most uh, authentic and the most real information, so I decided to give a call to the CBS officer, to the toll free number uh, used to book the hotels. I even gave a call to at least four different to four different hotels, and I called the public health agencies about the same, so I can find the exact and the most updated information to give it to you guys. It took me some time, but that's completely good. As long as I'm able to provide the information to you guys, I'm happy about it. I had to wait for like 30, 40 minutes for the waiting, but it's all okay. Uh, as long as you guys are subscribed, you like the video, it's all worth it. And without wasting any time, let's begin the video. Make sure you are sticking to the end of the video as I will also be showing you the little clips of the recordings that I recorded while I called them. And you guys could actually hear it yourself, what these people have to say about it. And by the end of the video, I will also be concluding everything uh, what I mentioned. And without wasting any time now, let's begin okay so firstly yes it is true and yes they have updated it online on their website that people who are coming from the same household can only share about it so i was a little confused because initially this was not the rule so the first person that i called was uh, the number that you can see on the screen this is the number that we use to book online hotels and it's available on the government of canada website and i called them and i asked them about this rule and if it's true and who all can share and what about the people who already have an existing booking etc etc so let's go ahead and listen to what uh, they have to say uh, two of my friends are traveling from uh, Delhi India to Toronto Canada uh, next week in April and they wanted to book the place uh, but recently I think uh, on the website it did get updated that uh, two students cannot share the place anymore and only people who are coming from the same household can share the hotel room I just wanted to know if it's true or not And that's for all the hotels? All the hotels, yeah. And uh, you know, like, if, is it like uh, that it just got updated or was it from the start? It was, uh, well, it, get, it gets updated. Right, because... because uh, people will be denied to stay together once they arrive at the hotel. Hmm. But now it has been, uh, it has, it has been uh, updated online. Yes. So people know in advance. Okay, yeah, because uh, sorry, you know, because actually I was checking the website last week too, and last week it mentioned that uh, travelers who are traveling together can share, but now it just says that travelers coming from the same household can share. Yes, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, last week it mentioned that people who are traveling together can share a room, but when they travel together and they come at the hotel, mm -hmm. they will let them know that because they are. Um, they're not living in the same house, household, things will change basically when they arrived at the hotel, which was not uh, okay, but now it has been updated, so people know that in advance. Okay. So they won't be surprised when they arrive at the hotel and they don't allow them to stay together. Hmm. Yeah. 
also ma'am uh, like a few a few i don't know it was like two weeks ago a friend of mine called from india to book the hotel on the same number on which i'm calling right now and uh, they did book the hotel for two of his, like for him and one of his friend from a different household but the agent on the phone said that yes you could book it together because you're traveling in the same flight so i was wondering what will happen to the people who already have existing bookings now Okay, and in case if okay. it's if it's not, then they'll have to like uh, change their bookings. I'm guessing. Yes, they will. Yes. And I think the hotel will automatically. Uh, sorry, sorry, I was. I think the hotel will automatically adjust their payments accordingly, right? Well, if there is any additional fees they'll have to pay, that will be. Uh, they will. They will tell them. Hmm. But like for now, it is confirmed that only people coming from the same household can share. Okay, so as you guys probably heard what she said, so this was the number which is available online on the website to book the hotels. So she mentioned that yes, it is compulsory for people who are already coming in this, who are coming from the same household can share it, and it is not for anyone. It is not for anyone who is coming just in the same flight and from a different household. She mentioned that they changed it and they recently updated it because some of the hotels started creating problems for travelers who were in the same flight and booked together and the hotels told them no so they, they mentioned that they received complaints about it that's why they changed it and they updated about it and they also mentioned that for those who already have an existing booking will have to contact the hotel directly and will have to change their bookings accordingly uh, so that's what she mentioned but guys wait the video has not ended it is just the start there you must listen what other people what other officers from cbsa and what hotels had to say about it okay so now i'm going to call uh, the hotel first and then i'm going to call the officers so the first i'm going to call the fairfield in hotel in toronto then i'm going to call the alt hotel in toronto and then i'm going to call a hotel in vancouver i'll see which hotel it which hotel should i call i'm just going to pick up any random hotel and then i'm also going to call a hotel from calgary as well to make sure just to reconfirm it for you guys so let's go ahead and now i will quickly show it show you what the lady from the fairfield in told me about it Giving a call to Fairfield and Hotel in Toronto, Ontario. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you guys uh, can travel together. You know, if you have your friend, answer the criteria. If they gonna, you know, after this quarantine in the hotel, if you guys are going to the same place for the rest of your quarantine period. Okay. And only in that case, you can do the, you know, uh, can plan this quarantine together. But okay, so, but it doesn't matter that if they're from the same household, as long. No, 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 it doesn't. Yeah, 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 exactly. And as long as they're only doing the fourteen days completely together, they can stay the hotel in the hotel together exactly, as well. Exactly, exactly. You got me very clearly. <laughs> and uh, is it for and how do you know how many students can do it like in one room? How what are the, the maximum should be like. Okay, so as you guys probably heard what she said for the Fairfield Inn Hotel. So for them, uh, basically, if any traveler who, like if any two travelers who are traveling together, they can only do the three-day hotel quarantine together only if they're doing the remaining 11 days together as well. And yes, this has been ruled from the past too. So for example, if you fill the information on the Arrive Can app, it will only ask for one address for both the travelers. So for those people who are traveling together and will be doing the three-day hotel quarantine together, as long as they're doing the remaining 11 days together as well, only then they can do the three-day hotel quarantine together. That's what the lady from Fairfield in Hotel said. And she did say that for us, we are accepting travelers who are traveling in the same flight and it doesn't matter if they are from the same household or not before I conclude about this let's go ahead and call the other hotel which is the ALT hotel and let's hear it together what they have to say about it and then you come and book with us it's actually them who needs to allow it because the new rule has it came from the government that's right so as of the moment we are passing everyone who okay. has the same problem to the government line because we're not sure if they're allowing it or they're not. So if you want to book it, you have to book it directly with them because um, they, are, they are the one who knows who, if, About if they need to allow it or mm -hmm. if they're not. And is because it... The right, yes. And uh, But if I book it online, because it also shows I can book online as well. And if I add like three adults in that, 
would there be a problem? Would I have to like mention if they're from the same? Yes, they will have a problem if they don't have the same uh, location. Location. If they don't live in the, if they don't live in the same address, they will have a problem. And uh, is it the immigration which checks it, or does the hotel check that as well? Okay, so now as you probably heard, what the ALT hotel staff members told, so they what they said is completely different from what the Fairfield Inn hotel had to say, and the ALT hotel said something similar to what the uh, toll free number, which I called for, for the first time, told me that it depends on them. Like they are the ones who are accepting booking, and for those, if you book it online and if you're not from the same address, your booking will be cancelled and something like that. So yes, you have to be from the same household. That's what they told me, and uh, now. So we have like one hotel which said that you have to be from the same household. One said that it doesn't matter if you're staying for the entire 14 days together. Now let's go ahead and call the hotel in Vancouver as well. So I decided to call Western Wall Hotel in Vancouver and let's hear what they have to say about it. And at the end, I'll also give a call to the CBS officer just to reconfirm everything. And then at the end, we'll conclude everything. Right? Can they share a, sa a single room together or do they have to be from the same household? Like, do you have any updates on that? Well, so like in your case, students coming in this, as long as they're in the same flight, they can do it together. Yeah, and as long as they're over the age of 19. Yeah, so there has to be at least one person that's 19 or older okay. in the room. Otherwise, they, we will not be able to accept them. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you so much for the Okay, so now that you probably heard what the Western Wall Hotel in Vancouver had to say. So for them, yes, the students who are even traveling together in the same flight, they are allowed to quarantine together because according to her, like no one is checking if you're from the same address or not and for for their hotel like for their hotel's policy you can share the hotel quarantine together as long as you're coming in the same flight now before i conclude i will also give a call to the cbs officer and i will ask them what they had to say about it and then i will let you guys and now in a little bit i will let you guys know what they said Okay, so since uh, this call that I did to CBSA is a little personal and according to them, I cannot share anything online. So basically, I'm just going to tell you exactly what they told me like this. So when I called them, the CBSA officer, I asked them the same question that can two students traveling in the same flight can quarantine together or not? Or do they have to be from the same household? And will they check if they are from the same address or not? What they told me is that they will, uh, they don't, they won't check it like exactly. They will only look at the hotel booking. As long as you have the hotel booking with you, they will allow it. And then it totally depends on the hotel if they accept it or not. Secondly, they even suggested me to call the public health facilities and the COVID-19 quarantine facility quarantine toll free number and I did give them a call too and a guy picked up an agent picked up and I asked him the same question what he told me was that he that for them it is fine as long as two travelers are doing the entire 14 day quarantine together as long as they're doing the 14 days together they are allowed to do the three day quarantine together but if you're planning to do three days together and then stay 11 days separately, then no, you're not allowed to do that. You have to do the 14 days together. Yes or no, that's it. Now, since we discussed everything, what each and every person had to say, now I will be giving you my personal opinion and my conclusion as to what I concluded from this. And I will be telling you guys for someone who's looking to book new or for someone who has an existing booking. So according to me, since Two hotels, one in Ontario and one in Vancouver, literally said that yes, you're allowed to share as long as you're doing the entire 14 days together and no one is asking if you're coming from the same address or not. However, one of the hotels in Ontario said that no, you only have to be from the same household and they will check. And even the toll free number that I called for hotel booking, they said that you have to be from the same household. But the public health agency said that you don't have to be, it does, it's not mandatory to be from the same household. So in my personal opinion, for the people who already have an existing booking with their friends and everything, my first recommendation would be to call your own individual hotel about it, call them and email them so that you have a written proof as well as to what they say. Tell them about it, tell them that you already made an existing booking from the existing uh, restrictions that were before and before it was updated. So will, their, will your booking be affected or not? If they tell you no, that they will still accept it, then I would tell you to go ahead with it and go to Canada with that one booking that you have. Worst case would be, that it may be in Canada they'll tell you that at the airport that no you're not allowed as you're not from the same address and you have to book separate rooms it's okay take a backup plan uh, and book your separate rooms but if no one asks it then you're good to go and you're shared you're allowed to share the room but definitely make sure that you share the entire 14 days together and not just three days 
now for those whose hotel says yes about it go ahead with it but for those whose hotel says no that we're not allowing it it is only for those people who are from the same household and yes we will check it if you're from the same address or not then unfortunately you can either ask for a cancellation but i don't I don't think they will give you a refund so you'll have to like change your bookings like into individual rooms now it completely depends on which hotel you booked and you'll have to call your individual hotel for that or you have to email them for the same for those people who haven't made any booking yet and are looking to book the hotel first first recommendation would be to call the hotel directly ask them if they have the policy to accept tra same travelers from different households or not if they say yes about it try and book it with them directly or book it online but if they are a little iffy if they say maybe maybe not then give a call to the toll free number available online for the hotel booking tell them that what the hotels told you and tell them to book it accordingly and go ahead with your booking but if you think that that if you think that the hotel was a little iffy then i would recommend guys go with your own single booking and don't take chances for those people who already have an existing booking and are traveling soon i would really request you guys to share your experience below when you travel and arrive to canada if you're arriving to canada tomorrow next week or in a few days guys please do drop down your experience as well i will make sure to pin it for everyone so other viewers who are traveling in the near future can also come back and see it and also if you can also if you also want to comment you can also message me on instagram or email me your experience if you like and i will make sure to share it with everyone around on my posts or on a video or through any way and that was all about it for today's video guys also two of my friends actually called the canadian government as well to receive answers so one of them said that the canadian government mentioned that as long as they're traveling in the same flight and as long as they're doing the entire 14 days together they can quarantine together and one of them also called their hotel about asking about their existing booking so their hotel mentioned that since you already had an existing already have an existing booking before these new rules were updated so your booking won't change and you will be allowed to share the room as long as you're traveling in the same flight and doing the 14 days together so again i would recommend to give a call to your ho your particular hotel email them call them and ask them about the same and also do mention that since you booked it before the rules were updated will it affect or not and uh, let me know what your hotel says do comment on anything your experience and it will help everyone else and guys take care i hope you find this video useful it was helpful drop down your comments i will get back to all of you and as always i'll see you guys in the next video i'll make sure to post more updates about it in my community posts so do so do subscribe and as always i'll see you guys in the next video bye